Beth and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes. I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. I am currently on a quest to get to 13,000 subscribers by my birthday at the end of February. It is such a long shot and I'm not sure if I can do it because that's a massive ask. But if you can help me out, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Today we are unboxing <laughs> three items that I was heavily influenced to buy. Now, the cycle of influence is real. You know, YouTubers, influencers, they buy things and then we buy things and then I show them to you guys and you go buy things and the cycle, it just keeps going. It's always there. And I get influenced probably more than the average person. But each of these items is owned by a very good friend of mine here on YouTube. Um, there are three items and they're three different YouTubers. So I'm sure as I pull them out, a lot of you will guess all of them, some of them, we'll see. We'll see how good you guys are. Um, but yes, these have all been heavily influenced in my life, but I am glad to have them all because some of them I deliberated over for quite a while and I finally got there in the end. So before I unbox those, but I did get a massive delivery from Handbag Angels, who I work with for bag liners on a regular basis. I have a 15% discount code for them. It's always in my description box down below. It is not an affiliate code. I do not get a kickback or any um, value of money back for every liner or um, ordered. I just like their stuff and they're kind enough to work with me. Um, they do send me free things. Um, I paid for the shipping on this, the rest of this they have sent to me because some of them are ones that they didn't already have and they want a chance to try them out. So I'm super appreciative to them for that. So let's quickly get them into the bag so you can see. So this is the one that they didn't already have. This is for my brand new Hermes. Um, Kelly 25 in the color Celeste, which is my newest quota bag, which I love. I love this color. This color makes me happy. Um, and this is in the Cellier style, so it's not very relaxed. And I needed a bag liner and handbag angel. So we don't have one measure and we'll custom make you one because that's really good for us to then extend our product range. And I was like, cool, no worries. So if this doesn't fit, it's all my fault. <laughs> because I did the measurements. So let's see how good I am, hey? Oh, you know what? I'm a legend, if I do say so myself. <laughs> let's just get it in there. Ah, oh, it's perfect, look. Good job, Meredith, well done. There's a lot of pressure on me for this. Um, so yes, so this is my brand new bag liner for my Kelly 25 in the Cellier style. Guys, handbag angels, it's perfect. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yes, that was the first one that they were kind enough to send me and it looks so good and it's exactly the right height. So when I, when I had them make it, I had them stop just where the sides start to pull in. So it's quite high and I really like that. So yay for a new liner. All right, let's just put you over there because you take forever to do up. That's, not, that's why nobody does up there in his bags. Um, and they also sent me, haha, hello, the bag shaper for my newest wok. I will link all these unboxings down below. These are all new bags, um, basically, and I needed um, liners for, so I will link all the unboxings down below in case you missed it. This bag, oh, so pretty. It's just, look at it, look at it. It just makes me happy. So yes, this is a base shaper for a wok. All my woks have these in them and they just give structure to them so nothing happens to the leather, especially this one I want to take care of, but all of them. So once it's in there, you can see it just gives shape and if I turn it to the side, you can see it now has this perfect shape and all this leather, which is usually crinkly and gets um, bunched up is now stretched out and how it is supposed to be. Somebody asked me if I wonder if I worried about causing dents or stretches in the leather. The base shaper actually runs the um, 
the length and width of the seams so it won't affect the leather at all it is exactly the right um, width for this bag um, or for this wallet on chain so it won't ruin it because it's literally just mirroring the seams that already exist within the bag it's not putting any pressure on those so no I do not worry in fact I think my bags are better off for them um, and I have 10 woks now and they all have one in them and look at that it just looks so much better especially if you want to carry it as a clutch it gives it a much more substantial feel so that came as well and then what else have we got in here <gasps> so this haha so this is for my denim carry all I have put off carrying this bag while I was waiting for this liner to arrive because I love this bag I can't wait to carry it it's going to be slouchy even with this in it it's perfect so let's give it a go yeah that's a bit better so the carry all is fantastic but it is just a big cavernous space and it can get slouchy to the point where you can't find anything in it so this look at that so much better and now for those of you who worry about slouch it does stand up on its own so there you go so it's still got enough slouch that I can do exactly what I want to do with it but it's got enough structure that I'm not going to lose all my stuff in it so perfect so excited about all of these now the next one I am dubious about because this was just a let's see how this goes so this is a liner for my Amelia Rose Chanel bag so for those who have missed this unboxing this belonged to Amelia Rose from Amelia Rose's closet she said that she was selling it and I went I need to own that bag that loudly in a very close proximity to her while I was in London that's how I said it um, and she was kind enough to sell it to me I love Amelia Rose um, so this is a long shot so I asked handbag angels to send me a jumbo liner because I thought that was gonna fit so let's see how I go with this and look now I'm looking at it I think I might be off yeah so it's it's okay like it will work don't get me wrong it will work but it needs to be probably three that much more in length across that way just to really give it what it needs so I am sure I can find a bag that this fits in and I'm gonna work with handbag angels to custom make one because that is the best thing about handbag angels is that custom make stuff so if you've got bags which are a little bit different or that they don't have liners for already send them measurements send them a template if you're near them in England go visit they would love to do a custom made um, liner but I will work with them to custom make one for this and I will find another bag to put that in um, but yes they said see how it goes we're not sure if it's going to fit and I said oh it should be all right but once again my fault my fault I say these things it will absolutely give it so much more structure which is better I do want it to be slouchy but that won't um, affect it to the point where it doesn't have that slouch but yeah it does need to be a little bit longer but pretty close I think so they were all the fabulous liners that handbag angels were kind enough to send me thanks guys I love them all let's open these please influenced boxes that I have around me okay as I open these let's see if you can guess in the comments down below what each uh, which youtuber each item belongs to so the first one comes in this red bag from St. Laurent. Now, YSL is generally not a brand I buy a lot from. In fact, everything I've ever owned from YSL I've sold on. I had, I think, three bags. I've sold them all. They weren't really my style. Um, but I will admit I was heavily influenced on this particular item. My husband came with me while we were in Melbourne to look at it. And even he said, yeah, I can absolutely see how you're going to use that and why you want it. So big words from him, very big words from him. Usually it's like, oh good, it's another one. <laughs> but in this case, he went, yeah, can totally see how you're going to use it. So let's get it out. And it is a piece of ready to wear. So... This is going to be perfect for me, considering the season that we are coming into very soon here in Australia. So, it is 
the YSL teddy jacket. So this is like a bomber jacket. Can you tell me which YouTuber influenced me to buy this as we look at it? And then I'll tell you um, after I have done a walk around of this product to so you know if you are right or not. So this is actually the men's one. So they have women's ones. I tried them on. Uh, they only had up to a size, I think, 40 and it fit me it would fit me fine but it was very fitted like it was very much fitted and i wanted this to be a really relaxed jacket for me i wanted it to have that real slouch feel to it i wanted it to be one that i could wear over something else if we were going out and i wanted it to be um just an easy piece to throw on if we're going out. So rather than a lot of my ready to wear, I really have to think about and dress up and what shoes am I going to wear with that? I'm going to do my makeup and they're really dressy pieces. This is not that. And I'm really happy about it. So if we look at it, it's, this is the men's. So it's all lined in satin. It has an inside pocket here. Uh, and then an inside pocket on the other side as well. It is in like a black, it's almost like a tweed, it's not a tweed, but it's like a tweed um, uh, knit. So uh, what are you? Let me see what kind of fabric you are. I would say you are, well, you've clearly got leather detail. Oh, I don't know. I can never find one of 1% 1 elastin. Excellent. We like elastin. Elastin gives a stretch. Um, these are always so hard to read. Uh, it's wool. Sorry, it's 90% wool, 10% something I cannot pronounce, and then it's got some elastin in it as well. But these white details are leather. So this is a leather detail here. There's a leather detail on the other side. And... The pocket detail is also done in the leather. The um, collar is a stitch, obviously. And then it's got press button um, studs. Sorry about the noise, guys. Lots of my neighbors are out today doing um, maintenance on their properties and they like to go up in their planes. <laughs> Sometimes people will comment on that. You're close to an airport? Yeah, but it's more like the locals. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is in a men's size, like I said, and I went with a really big size. So the poor woman at the shop, she kept bringing me sizes. I think we ended up with like six of these by the end. Um, and I think I ended up with a size 50 off the top of my head, which was really quite big. And even my husband went, are you sure you want it that big? And I'm like, yeah, I do. So she was pushing, the sales associate was pushing me towards a 46, I think. Yes, this is in a 50 was pushing me towards the 46. She's like, that's that's a great fit for you. Uh, she's like, maybe a 48. And I'm like, no, I want the 50. So I completely um, overrode everything she said and I went with the 50. This was $3,550. Yes, it's a lot of money for a jacket, but for ready to wear and for something that I can wear year in and year out, I really felt like it was a good price. Like I can grab this and go to the pub. I can grab this if we're just going out for a day of shopping. I can grab it if I'm going out with the kids. Like I, it's elevated. It's not in your face YSL. It doesn't scream YSL, but it's really well made. I really love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I was happy to pick that up while we we're in Melbourne. Okay, mod shots. I know you all love mod shots. I had a very wasn't small. I had a very simple surgery done yesterday. It took me a long time to get ready this morning. I just want to go back to bed, but I need to get this done while I'm on bed rest or house arrest as I'm calling it. Um, and so I'm not going to do mod, I'm not going to do mod shots. I the thought of putting things on and off and, um, yeah, I'm not in any state to be able to do that at the moment, but because all my very good friends here on YouTube own these items, I'll steal theirs. I'll ask them first, but I'll just use their photos. So the YouTuber who influenced me with this jacket, did you guess? It is Victoria from Accounting for Luxury. I love Victoria. She's fabulous. Um, she's just the nicest, nicest person. We chat 
um, regularly. We are planning a collaboration as well. We're going to do a collab, so stay tuned for that. But she raves about this jacket. I think her husband has this exact same jacket and she has one in a different colorway, but she's after this colorway as well. And I can see why. It's an absolute classic. But she loves YSL. She's a YSL VIP. So if you're interested in YSL, most certainly go check out Victoria's channel because she's all over that. But thank you, Victoria, for um, influencing me on this jacket. I will insert a mod shot of her wearing hers. All right, the next piece <laughs> comes in this bag. So I actually picked this up before Christmas. It's been sitting here waiting to be unboxed. When I unbox it, you'll realize why I was in absolutely no hurry to unbox it because I don't really have a need for it right now, but I will soon. So Loewe, I don't own anything. I've got a perfume. I've got a perfume from Loewe and that is it. I don't own any of their bags or anything else from them. This I was so influenced on. I kept seeing this fabulous YouTuber wear this because it is a piece of ready to wear as well. And I was like, but she looks amazing in that. Yes, but do I need it? Can I wear it as well as she does? Probably not. Um, can I look good in this? You know what, Meredith, go and try it on. So I did. And I, my understanding is that this, ha this item has been very hard to come by. I walked into store and they had it in every single size. So I don't know if they just got a shipment in and I was lucky or because it's the middle of summer here in Australia, less people are interested in it here. And once winter hits, that it will sell out. But I was very excited because I got to try it in lots of different sizes. So let's get it out. And I do have the receipt. I think I got the receipt for everything today. <gasps> Look at me go. All right. So, let's open it up. <laughs> and it is... Oh, I've lost my rubbish bag. I moved it. All right, let's throw that on the floor. Uh, it is the Loewe Jeans, <laughs> which YouTuber influenced me. Let's see if you guys know. <laughs> so, these are a relaxed fit, a very relaxed fit. They are a wide leg jean, not dissimilar to the ones that I wore in the 90s because the 90s are back, baby, and we are happy about it so these are very much a relaxed fit they have this distressed embroidery detail so it's like they've laser cut the loewe pattern out and then put a white patch on the back of it and that's what you see come through in the knee of these and then they are high, which is not something that I will usually do, a high-waisted jean. But I tried them on in store and I definitely know what I can wear them with and what will work. So absolutely, they're going to be fine. Has the big Loewe tag on the back. And these are everywhere. So <laughs> lots and lots of influencers have them. But I was very much influenced by my very good friend here on YouTube. And who do we all think that is? Tell me in the comments down below who influenced me on the Loewe jeans. If you said Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet, you are quite correct. <laughs> um, I believe uh, Tiana from Tiana Perry also has them off the top of my head and like a zillion other influences. <laughs> um, but yes, I was very happy to be able to try these on in so many different sizes. They do not have any stretch in them. For someone who is as curvy as I am, generally speaking, true denim with no stretch is not something that I go near. Um, just because I like a little bit of stretch. We need, we all like a little bit of comfort, but I have bought these in a size that they fit me well and that I will be fine with. Can't put any weight on, but <laughs> so yes. Now, Amelia needs to roll hers up at the bottom. I'm still not, un I'm still undecided about whether I need to do that or not. So yes, these are the newest Loewe jeans and I will pop a picture up of Amelia Rose wearing these because she has been kind enough to already do the mud shots for me. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and I will tell you how much they are and what size they are. So I ended up with them in a size, what size are you? I don't remember now, in a size 42. I could get into the 40s. I was okay and comfortable in the 40s, but like I talked about, they don't have any stretch. I just wanted a little bit more space. You know, if you go out for lunch and you eat a little bit too much, you don't want to be over like uncomfortable and hanging out over the top of them. So I went with a 42 to make them comfortable and keep that real oversized feel to them. Um, and I paid $1,800 for these. So not cheap, but they are jeans and 
I'm going to get some wear out of them this winter. And if I get anywhere near as much wear out of mine as Amelia Rose has gotten out of hers, then they are well worth the money because she loves hers and I'm here for it. So that was my influenced purchase from Amelia Rose. All right, let's do the last one. <laughs> this one, you might not even need to see it to guess who influenced me. This is from Roger Vivier. Yes, shoes. I know, I'm fairly certain at some point I have said I am having a low buy year for shoes. I am not investing a lot of shoes this year. Yeah, Meredith. Okay, so this is one. I have two, three, four, five... I have five pairs of shoes in this room at the moment that need to be unboxed, including these ones. Yeah, low buy year for shoes, Meredith. Yeah, just don't even. Just don't even. I know, I know. <sighs> Must stop. <laughs> um, I have so many shoes. So, yes, this uh, was picked up in Sydney, as was the Loewe jeans. I did not buy these from Melbourne, and I'm glad for that because massive box. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> these shoes these shoes I traveled with these shoes not me personally but they were certainly on my trip with me uh, and I watched them walk the streets of London and Paris and I thought they were stunning and I always thought that they were something they were not and then I actually had a chance to pick them up in store while I was overseas and realized that they were not the heavy heavy pair of shoes I thought they were going to be and they kept playing around in my head going around and around and around I was like Meredith you can't buy them you cannot buy another thing that, is, that was influenced by this poor YouTuber that influences your whole life. You just can't do it. And in the end, I went, stuff it, I'm buying them anyway. So I did. <laughs> so I went to the store and found my own pair. So let's open them up. And we have a spare set of laces. So that probably tells you what is what it is. And I've got the dust bags. And we have... Oh goodness, no one's going to be surprised by this whatsoever. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're very close to my house today. Sorry if that's really loud. It's really loud here, so I'm sure it's really loud for you guys. So these are, oh I've just lost the thing that tells me the exact name of them. I'm sure they're the Ranger Boots. So these are the Ranger Boots from Roger Vivi Hair in the pattern leather and they have these fabulous fabulous buckles on the side of them how amazing is this which influencer influenced me to buy these which youtuber was it if you don't know i am very surprised right now um these are brilliant so um by now you've guessed it is my good friend Dale from Dale's Addiction. She wore these on our holiday and I kept looking at them thinking they were fabulous but I honestly believed that they were going to be really heavy. They look heavy. They look solid. And then we're in store in London I want to say. Maybe Paris. I can't remember. Maybe I think it was London. And I picked them up and I went oh they're really light. And she said yeah they're really light. Really comfortable. She wore them for hours walking around. And I was like how are you touting them around? They look so heavy. They're not. So, yes, um, I was influenced because of that. I was influenced because look at this buckle detail. Oh, my goodness. How stunning is that? And then you don't have to do them up. There is a zip down the side, which is awesome. And look at this comfort. Look at this comfort cushion right there, people. It is so comfortable. So I tried these on in store in a 38 and a half, which is generally my true size. Although with boots, I do tend to size up to a 39 and these are a 39. So I ended up going with the 39. The 38 and a half definitely fit, but if I want to wear socks with them and, you know, walking around winter, that kind of stuff, I went with a little bit more space. So I ended up buying them in a 39. Pretty sure Dale's are in a 39 as well. But look at them. They've got this great sole. They've got a heel, but it's not super uncomfortable. Like you're not going to get sore feet from wearing them all day. I walked around in store in these and I went, yeah, I see why Taylor owns these because they are so comfortable. So I will pop a mod shot of her wearing these fabulous boots and looking brilliant in them. Um, and yes, that is why I was influenced. 
these were not cheap no no and that's another reason why I went round and round on whether I was going to buy them so they're really quite expensive but in the end they're gorgeous and I've got a I've got a shoe problem in general but I have, definitely have a boot problem um, so I ended up just going just buy them Meredith they're living rent free in your head go buy the damn boots um, so these were $3,380 they're not cheap they're a massive investment and they're patent leather so they will get scratched so you have to make the decision whether or not you can live with that. If you scratch them, are you going to just like die over the amount of money you paid for them? Or do you accept that their shoes, they're going to get worn and that they're, they're a great boot that will go with a lot of stuff and just they're fabulous. Look at them. They're so fabulous. So yes, I am very thankful to my fabulous friend Dale for influencing me as she often does. I am fab I am thankful to my fabulous friend Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet who has also influenced me many, many times. And now enter the chat Victoria from Accounting for Luxury who is also influencing me. It's a world of influence, people. We're all there for it. We do it. We do it to each other. We go around and around in a circle. It's what we do. But we love these things, <laughs> no matter how expensive they are or how crazy it is. Sometimes you just got to buy what you love, even if everybody else owns it. There might be a reason everybody else owns it. It might be because it is just a fabulous item and fits so many people's lives. Sometimes there are definitely items that are just an influence item and you're like, that's never going to fly and it doesn't. But if they're coming from people you trust and YouTubers or influencers that you really, their style really resonates with you, then there's a good chance they will work for you. And there's a good chance you might see it on several people that you love because you tend to gravitate towards people who speak to you on a level that you understand and that have similar tastes and styles. So yeah, you're seeing it on a few people. There might be a reason for that. So yes, that is my influenced haul. Am I sorry? Absolutely not. I love every single one of these items. I am sorry. I can't do my own mod shots for you guys. I hope you understand. Um, and yeah, you can see even in my makeup and hair today, it was it was a struggle and I'm batch filming today as much as I can. So it's going to be a struggle for a few videos, but we'll make it work. As long as you guys stick with me, it's okay. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually twice a week and sometimes I'll throw in an extra. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh,